So would you like to get started with the product filtering inside of Shopify? I'm going to show you how to get started effectively, enhancing the user experience by helping customers find exactly what they're looking for for quickly and easily. So first of all, let's dive into it. The very first thing I want to do is to understand the Shopify built and filtering. So the Shopify offers built-in filtering capabilities that can be enabled and of course added into settings through the store theme settings. So these filters are based on the product aspects like the pricing, the type, the size, and so much more elements. So. What you want to do first of all is to check your theme support. So as you can see, we don't have here any filtering, so I can see that we can add this later. So ensure that your Shopify theme supports filtering. So I'm going to go back here, of course, into my Shopify dashboard. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description, just in case you don't have an actual store created inside Shopify and having a huge deal is going to be really great. So now that I'm into the home section, I want to locate my only store into the left pod. Here, what I wanted to do is to locate the section that says themes. Inside themes, you can find your active theme and here you can click directly and to customize. Now, it's going to be really important, guys, that you can actually make sure that you have the updated latest version of your actual account. So I'm going to hit now into customize and I have the latest version of my uh, new section. So here, what I wanted to do is to configure my themes filtering uh, settings. So with the theme customization panel, you wanted to collect directly into the collection page. So into the upper side, I have the collection. And here is the default collection section. So as you can see here, we can be enabled to configure filters. You might be able to add filters based directly into your product tabs. You can enable the uh, collection description. So for filters to work effectively, if we wanted to organize your product text, the category meticulously. So if I go back into my products, into all my products, let's say for example that I choose only one product. Let's go for collections. And here into collections, I choose, let's say, men. And here into men, what I wanted to do is to figure out if one product, let's say, is, is a blank, it's white, it's, I don't know. So as you can see here are the text. So into the text, let's say for example that I choose element for my product. So in this case, let's say for example that I choose a different collection, a different bundle product type. So that will be actually it, guys. So now that I have already organized in my actual product composition, I wanted to use a third-party application for the advanced filtering. So if your themed capabilities are meeting your needs, you can consider a third party application. So apps like the product filter and search smart product filter and the boost Calmer can help us a lot. So I'm going to locate here the application and look out for the search and discovery. So if you don't see it, let's type only the word Shopify. And if I locate this into new app store section, it's going to be showing me all the applications that were created by and for your actual Shopify store. So here what you want to do is to locate the one that says Shopify searched and discovery. So I choose this able and open it. Once I open the actual application, what I wanted to do is to configure my filtering options and the search and discovery elements. So here I open my application of the search and discovery. This is the part which you want to do as setting up the filters and test them through the various devices. So I'm going to go for customize my filtering and here I can add different filters. For example, I can add text, I can add the bundle, uh, I can add more filters if I wanted to, and here should be adding all the values. So as you can see, this is how it should be appearing my actual filtering. Once that I have here my filtering already been added, I'm going to hit now into view to see if this one has been added into my actual store. If you don't see it, what I need to do is to make sure that this one has been added. Now I'm going to hit into the option that says settings. Into filters, I have empty values. Now choose how filter balance with no matching products have shown into your store. So I'm going to go into show in default order. And here into the search result, what result appear for customers in the search result, the product page, a blog post. And lastly, you have what result inquiry product collection page, blog post. In this case, I'm going to go for uh, saved. And there we go. Now what you wanted to do is to make sure that you have an active theme plan that has the actual availability of the store. So I'm going to try to look out for a new boson. And now you can see that my filtering is now enabled in here. So I'm going to go back again here into my 
main collection as you can see I can filter by availability I can filter by price I can filter by color by size or sort by best selling and so much more element so as you can see what you want to do that once your filters are live you want to monitor how your customers are using them and gather feedback so use this information to optimize these filters making them even more helpful and user friendly guys that's the reason why I wanted to make sure that all the products has not been added correctly. So make sure that it actually worked in a very easy way and enable and try it out the filtering just to make sure it actually works and the tags and all of that are actually working really great. So as you can see, the actual filtering is working really great. So I'm going to hit now into published and then we are actually good to go. I'm going to hit now into publish, of course, and then we're actually good to go. Here it is. So it all looks really great. So guys, that's it. That's how you set up product filtering with Shopify. This feature not only improved the actual shopping of your store, but also helps drive more sales by allowing the customers to find the product even much more faster, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial, guys, on adding product filtering to Shopify store. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Keep tuning into online media for more useful e-commerce tips and tricks, guys. Hopefully, we can also see you into a brand new section on online media. Until next time.